Today this truck is going to receive its new bed, well new bed, it, we're just going to put the old bed back on. Yes, I've been working on this 1985 F-150 for a little while now. Painted the frame, there's a video out on that. I did paint the underneath side of the bed. I didn't know if I wanted to do that or not because it still showed uh, some of the old original paint. But I went ahead and painted it just to keep it from rusting any further. And it, by the way, it, there was no rust under there to speak of. Just a little bit surface rust here and there. Been working on the uh, bumper. Got it sitting over there in that table. Right there, I went ahead and strip that. I had that in another video and also uh, I'm going to paint that bumper. We're going to paint it a metallic gray similar to what the older bumpers would have been like. But today we're going to put this thing back together. I hope you follow to the end to see how it turns out. The first step I want to take care of is I want to put a coat of metallic gray on this bumper. I have no idea how that's going to turn out, but we're going to find out here. Let's get started with that. I want it to dry. Put a couple of coats on it. I'm going to use a Rust-Oleum Rattle Can Paint Metallic Gray. Yep, this bumper was in pretty bad shape. It had a lot of white paint on it and I wanted to save it because of the lettering. It's uh, it, uh, it's inscripted with the uh, dealership that sold the that sold the truck originally. They put these bumpers on I guess at uh, dealerships to advertise. Ordered them in without and I just thought it was unique to have that on there yet and there's a tag in the back end of the truck that <clears throat> proves all this stuff and even the uh, the title search I did on it tax it originated in right here so let's get this painted let's see how this is gonna look what I usually do is just put a real light tack coat on to start with and let that set just a few minutes and then go ahead and put a, a wet coat on it. Well, just for the tack coat, I think it's turning out pretty darn good already. I'm uh, a bit surprised how, how good it looks, but uh, let me get this finished up and we'll show you what it looks like. Well, the bumper's painted. We'll let her dry now, put three coats on it. Just open that up a little bit, so I think that's going to dry to a nice metallic gray finish. It almost looks silver, but it isn't. Once it's totally dry, it'll look just fine, especially in the back end of this blue Ford pickup. We'll let that dry, and we'll get her bolted on, and then we'll work on getting our bed down. Well, we have the bumper on, as you can see. And it looks pretty good on there. I think it'll be just fine. The next step now is to lower this bed back down on the, on the frame. Let me get that into position and see how that's going to work. A lot of things I have to do is I got four bolts to get lined up but the, the hardest thing I believe is going to be to get that fill hose right there in position so that I can feed everything in all at the same time. So let's get going on this and let's see how it works. Well I raised the bed up, backed the truck under it and lowered it back down. The way I raised it up is I hooked straps to these again like I did when I took it off and just lifted it up, backed the truck under it, 
got it as close as I could. Use this drift pin here to line up the back hole. So I've got the two bolts dropped in in the back. And now all I need to do is put uh, the uh, two bolts or four bolts in the, in the front part of the bed. So you can see right here, there's that bolt. It's dropped in, it just dropped right in. If you remember from my first video taking it th this off, I, um, this bolt here had some rust on it, which is this one right here. You can see that. And what I'm going to do is just switch these two, put the, the better one over here since that's the, the side that's prone to rust. And I'll put the weaker one over there and it'll last another 40 years. Let me get these bolts in and start to process of bolting this down. The bed's bolted down and I'm working on the lights now. I went ahead and bought new lenses and they look pretty nice I think. I've got one installed over here. I'll show it to you. There's the new lens. Turned out pretty good. At least you can see, see the lights now where before I couldn't. I'm going to go ahead and finish that one up over here. And then the only other thing I have to do is get that fuller, gas fuller hose hooked back up. I forgot to mention that I also had to attach my camera. I, uh, I put a backup camera in this and my license plate. Um, light which I had to rewire completely under there it was all shorted out this hasn't worked for a while but it's because it's uh, fuse blown under the dash I, I hope to get that going again that's actually in a mirror I bought it's called a smart mirror has backup camera front camera uh, all kinds of uh, things in the mirror. I only use the camera part though. Comes in handy, you get used to that I guess. I also got this all hooked back up and it's fairly easy. There's two screws here. And these two here, when you take these two out, the door comes off and this whole works drops down but before you drop it down. There's three screws inside here you take out and then there's one clamp over bracket underneath that you you have to take out and that drops right out. It's fairly simple. If you just look at it and study it a while you save yourself some time. I wish I would have when it came to taking this uh, apart and lifting the bed off. We're going to call this project complete. The bed's on, fuel's hooked up, everything in the back works. The lights, turn signals, tail light, brake lights, uh, the uh, license plate light. I have to uh, fix that uh, camera inside the uh, cab here, but other than that, we're about ready to go here. Just a couple of little things I want to do. The mirror's off over there. I'll put that on yet. But we're going to call this video complete. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you followed to the end. And please comment about your projects. Tell me what you would have done differently. If you want to see the video that uh, was uh, taking the bed off, you can watch that right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.